Hello. This video is going to be mainly about cooking with the juicier mushroom. As I covered vaguely in my last video, uh, they've got a few nicknames. Juicy ears one, tree ears, um, cloud ear, wood ear. Obviously they've got a running theme throughout all the nicknames, ears. Because they look like an ear. And that, that's a particularly a big one. They've got a funny texture, weird, they like rubbery look, they stretch, they wobble about like jelly, but they're not easily damaged. I mean, I can flap that about, it's not going to fall to bits. Hang on. Come on, get in. Don't make a video here. And um, yeah, they, they smell nice. There's not a deal of flavour involved. They're ever so slightly tinny and very subtle mushroomy sort of flavour to them. But by the time you've put them with anything else, the, the, the other flavours will overcome this, they overpower it. So they're really, they're only used because of the medicinal properties. They're very popular in China and the Far East because of that. Not so popular over here. But um, yeah, the the main reason people put them in is because of the, the funny texture. Quite interesting, I like them. Uh, they get mixed reviews when it comes to involving them in a dish. I suppose it depends what you do with them. I mean, I, I've, I know some people have just put them in a frying pan hole, let it cook and then munch on them. You're not gonna enjoy that, trust me. It's not a nice experience. Same with boiling them, if boiling them with a soup. I mean, I've read a few online uh, recipes, like uh, Chinese soups and that. We tell you to put these in. I don't like it. It's like trying to eat frog spawn. It's slippy and slimy, slide around your mouth. Just not nice. So um, what I do with them, I cut them up into thin strips. And they're quite crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that when I put the knife through it. They've got a crunch to them. Right, I'll put the frying pan on now. Because I'm going to show you what they do when they start cooking away. Quite surprising. So I'll just do a couple. There's another one. And I'll let you have a close, close up look at them and all. And they're quite shiny on the inside, look. On the outside. Little tiny hairs, like a velvety sort of feel to them. They always feel cold. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And, um, yeah, like, like I say, I'll fry these and I'll put them in my, my noodles. I, I egg fry my noodles. I put um, some spring onion in there, clover garlic. Simple meal. But these just add like a, a nice interesting crunch. Not a deal of flavour, but like I say, I do like them. So this is what happens when you cook with them. My daughter calls them popping mushrooms, and you'll see why in a minute. Now I've got the pan on. I get a, I get a shield because they start popping all over the place. First time I cooked with these, I, um, I had no top on. It was early morning. And before I knew it, one had shot out the frying pan, red hot, and stuck to my chest. And I had a big blister on my chest. It, it hurt. So, what I do is, I cover the, the pan with a, a lid. There you go, you can hear them popping away already. And you won't get any bits stuck to your face and that. It's not very nice, trust me. But I'm going to take the lid off, just so you can see how far they jump out the pan. I mean, they really do. Whoa, you bugger! Bloody hell! Covered in hot fat now, see what I mean? Got mushrooms all over the place. Bloody dangerous. Right, so that's that. Perfect example to show you they need a lid. I mean, check that out. We in two minutes, there'll not be one left in the frying pan. They'll be all of its side. Turn that off now. 
So yeah, that's that. Uh, frying Jew's ears into thin strips can be quite dangerous, but they're nice and tasty. <laughs>